Alright, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. I literally just ended an episode and now I'm going to start a new one. So, uh, if you guys are watching these back to back, you'll, you'll probably notice that. Uh, if not, then... Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so we are working on getting these three barrels of oil. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is actually... Uh, what I was saying in the other episode is I'm going to strap two on and then use carry the third one with the crane so that we don't have to come back. Uh, although you drop them off at the warehouse so uh, you don't have to take them very far. And I, I always thought, I must have been thinking this is the, uh, the fuel one where you have four and it's, it's a lot more complicated. Uh, but knock on wood because, well, I just said it wasn't very complicated, which means it's going to end up being horribly complicated, so. But let's find out, <laughs> and uh, we'll see if you guys are still counting the, how many times I say but. And or um, because that's, that's in there too. So this is actually where we have to drop them off. And I could be, I could just pick this one up real quick and then drag it back and then go get the other two and that might actually be an option because I am really super close it seems kind of silly to um, try to drive that way uh, or drive all that way back um, okay that was interesting um, hopefully it doesn't go flying more when I get closer. There we go. Uh, don't delete trailer. You want to activate that and go into crane mode. Luckily, these are, as I say that, fairly light. The truck's getting pulled deeper into the into the um, the water there. But we are gonna pick these up. And we are just going to slap that right on the bed of the truck. We're not even going to care how close it is. And we're going to pack the cargo and we're going to restore the crane. And we're going to back out of the menu and then back out of this rocky... Let's throw some all-wheel drive on. I think I did all that without all-wheel drive, didn't I? I might have to look back at the recording and see if I made it up that hill without it. I did, I'm pretty impressed by that. Maybe I should start using this truck more often. I think definitely once I get um, better tires for it. Although I definitely need the um, raised suspension. That's what it's kind of lacking in this truck. And I think that might allow me to put bigger tires on it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just drop these, this one off. Boom, just like that. A third of this mission's done. Uh, let's see, I think what we're gonna do... Let me look at the mem uh, the me 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 menu. Uh, yeah, why don't we drive here? We'll cut across. We'll go all the way to this trail, pick this up, hopefully. And then somehow swing around and pick that up and then come back this way. And then back there. So we're doing a nice little figure eight or infinity sign or whatever you want to call it. Hopefully we don't have to come around and down. That may be better. But then I won't know. Oh, um, somebody left some boxes there. Um, but yeah, I won't know if the terrain is drivable or not, so at least this way if I get stuck, I can recover without having any cargo on and then that just becomes a nightmare, so. <clears throat> now I don't have a differential, so that, ooh, that hurt. Um, that will be a little bit of an issue. Let's go slower over some of these bumps. 
That is a pretty fast current through here, but I think we're pretty heavy, so. Alright, so all this seems doable so far. Um, this is where it gets a little ugly because of how steep the terrain is. But if I can cut through these trees, um, yeah, that, that worked pretty well. The other nice thing about this is, is I'm going to be able to follow my uh, tracks out. This is usually muddy. Um, so I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to drag that in. Yeah, you can kind of see I'm sinking in the mud a bit. Um, let's try to weasel our way through here. And then this should be where the trail meets up. That's... That looks like a really fun hill to do a test climb on. Is that an actual trail? Uh, that is an actual trail, so... Huh. Anyways. We're not gonna worry about that. And we're gonna get to this last... Barrel first. Or is it the first barrel second? No, it would be the second barrel second. Um... Oh, I cracked myself up. Now this is a little muddy crap. Um, there are things to winch to. I'm not moving anywhere, am I? Um, oh, I'm fighting myself right now. Let's back the trailer up. Let's see if we can go around this way first. Let's avoid the deep mud if at all possible. There almost looks like there's a trail going around the top part. Can I fish that in? Yes. So this I kind of love this. I can go fishing with it. So let's actually try to bring this up. The truck is moving a lot, so I want to kind of keep an eye on what it's doing. We're going to go to the high side to go around. Drop that right there. Woohoo! Just putting that on the back of the truck made it sink like two feet. Um, so let's exit that. Let's pack the cargo first. And then restore the crane. And see if we can get out of here. Nope. Wrong way. Uh-oh. Is that the only thing we can attach to? Let's attach the winch to the back. That doesn't look like it's gonna... Oh, it is gonna hold. Oh, just hold long enough for me to... Let's actually help out the winch a little. Ah! It's hard to control this with my other thumb. Alright, now I believe we can reach the trees. Still kind of back up to the front end around. And let's put it back in low forwards this time though. Uh, let's see, we gotta go to the left a little bit. Let's stay close to these trees as possible, just in case we get stuck. And... yeah, we... 
seem to be doing okay now. Alright, the truck's nice and muddy now. Which is good, because that means we're using it. Let's just be very careful here, because last time... Uh, in the other episode... I... Accidentally... <laughs> Uh, when flying off the cliff and rolled like dot four or five times maybe. It was pretty uh it was pretty intense. And I don't see the trail where I came in. I have to guess I'm flint this way. It might be a different way. I feel like I'm farther away from the um, shore than I was. So, this is kind of muddy. So let's try right about there. Activate the crane, go into crane mode. And the nice thing is, I have a pretty good reach with this crane. And it always wants to flip it over. Nice and tight. And then let it flip back over. And we will lift it and swing it. Man, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. And I, you know what? That's probably good, right? Yeah, let's restore the crane. Come back, back. And we are good to go. Now I see my old trail, so I can just follow this out. But that's kind of the purpose of driving in instead of going around the trail the other way. Oh, now I'm lost. I think my trail went this way? Yeah, those are tired. Maybe not. Yeah, I think those are tires. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard to say. Normally, you can see your tire tracks like mad. Go slightly this way just because there's a tree in my way. Uh oh. Um, I guess I can't go that way. What? I guess cut through this way. Gotta be really careful and gentle through here because we're, we're on a good sized slope. Came through here, so the, as long as I don't, don't look too hard up that hill, be a nice, simple way to get back. All right, well, that turned out to not be that bad. I was regretting doing this mission for how long, and it turned out to be pretty straightforward. We are going to be wrapping up the task in Smithville Dam, because uh, we are done as soon as we get to that square. And we are done. And there's my pay. Perfect. Alright, so I believe all the tasks are completed, except for the time trials, which is fine. Like I said, I didn't plan on doing any of those. We got the all the upgrades. We got all the buildings. Um, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 trailers including this one that we haven't even looked at yet so there are a ton of trailers so that's that's where I get annoyed um, I want to say that's my OCD kicking in but if that's true then I have no other type of OCD <laughs> in my life so 
Um, yeah, it's it's kind of strange. So I've got two trailers there. I've got one trailer there. I've got two trailers here, which are doable. So it's really just this trailer, that trailer, that trailer. Um, and then three trailers there and a trailer there and probably a trailer somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave them. Who knows? Uh, it might be the case where I have to do a long mission or, or a multi-map mission and have to pick one or two up. So, um, we can probably just slowly bring them back and that's what I might end up doing. Um, but yeah, let's go into, where is it? Diesel. So out with the old. That is the two metal beams and the oil rig. So I already delivered that to it. Um, so I'm glad I haven't, um, I'm glad I haven't restarted it. Oh, but it's locked. Why is it locked? Why is it locked? Because I'm... Oh, I haven't done harbor delivery yet. And that's locked because I haven't done... Inch, inch, no, I did. I haven't discovered it. Oh. So I actually have to go to the lake to be able to do that one. Um, And this one, I have to go to Island Lake. Was it Drummond Lake? It was Drummond Lake, so that makes sense. Alright, so yeah, that one... Let's see what Husky has. There's a bunch unlocked here. So we need a maintenance trailer all the way out there along with two vehicle spare parts and I got rid of one. Alright, so where do I pick up the vehicle spare parts? There. So I want to grab a maintenance trailer, which I have one there. Let's actually go ahead and accept this and start tracking. I did. Um, so we will grab. Oh, that's a long ways to go for a maintenance trailer. Let's. Yeah, let's take this back to the base. Um, so we will recover this truck, we will leave the garage, we will skip to the morning, skip to the loo, my darling, oh sorry guys, I don't know where that came from, I hopefully will never do that again, uh, but let's grab a maintenance trailer, and whoops, maintenance trailer, I wonder if I get reimbursed. Like, cause this is... This is expensive. This is $7,500. Um... Oh, and I can't do it with this truck because... The bed's too far. You know what? I know what I can do. Let's recover. Go to customize and let's get rid of the crane. I think the crane, where is it? This one. Let's uninstall that. Um, and then that should allow us to leave the garage. And that should allow us to, um, this truck actually doesn't look too bad with the just the flatbed. Um, you know what? If, no, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, you have to put your parking brake on. I know the maintenance trailer is right there. That's seven thousand five hundred, right? Am I crazy? How much do I get paid for this mission? That's the million-dollar question, right? 
$5,000. So do I not get reinf reinforced? Re, uh, do I not get compensated? Is there a maintenance trailer already on the map? There isn't. There's a service trailer, but no maintenance. So that's strange. Is there one? Let me see real quick. Uh, no, we gotta go. Let's get out of here and then we can go here. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God. All right, global map. Let's go to Black River. Is there a maintenance trailer here? There is a maintenance trailer. And it's there. So. I can take this maintenance trailer and sell it. Instead of coming to get it, right? That makes sense to me. If I just take this to a trailer store. I can sell it. Get my $7,500 back. And then I can take this trailer that we just purchased and give that to the mission. Yeah, I think that works. I'm okay with that. And honestly, I have quite a bit of money, so I'm not too stressed about the money part of it. Not until I start buying new trucks. <laughs> I think this is the best option. So I can swing over here, get two vehicle spare spare parts, and then we can go on a nice long mission. And we can even stop and fill up the trailer. Cargo service spare parts? No. Vehicle spare parts. Boom. And look at that, we got everything we need in one go. So, this will be a pretty good example of what we need to do. You know, and I just thought of it to myself, uh, I probably should have, when I first started, grabbed all of the uh, watchtowers like I did from Black River, grab all the upgrades from Black River, and then bring the scout here, do all the upgrades. Nope, wait, hold on. Why am I going that way? Yeah, that would be the wrong way. Um, grab all the upgrades uh, from this area, and then move on to, oh, we're gonna not go up the side yet. Try to do it when we're a little bit more level. Uh, but anyways, go to Drummond Island, find all the upgrades and the watchtowers there. And I believe that might not be possible because I think they have the map um, pretty well divided where you have to build a bridge first uh, before you can traverse the entire map. Uh, but I also think that if you go through uh, island lakes and you can get to Drummond, you get to the other side of the map. So there are ways around it, but um, yeah, that could have been a possibility because it would have been nice to have to use this truck uh, with its differential installed. So I think we will just do the basic track. We'll just go right up the middle of this farm through all the slop that is in front of it. It would have been nice if that was a mission to kind of clean most of that up. Uh, but it wasn't. Let's go ahead and throw this in all-wheel drive because we're going to need it real soon. Let's try to cross right about there so the bouncing is minimal. And it wasn't. He almost actually tipped over the service trailer. But I think it's fine. I think this can tip over. It might come off the hitch. But as long as we can use our winch to kind of... Um, flip it back onto its wheels, we should be able to attach to it. So it's not like if I rolled the actual truck, 
and all that cargo, because if that cargo comes off, then I'm screwed because I don't have a crane. Because I needed to ditch it for the ability to attach the trailer, so um kinda kinda living dangerously right now, but hopefully we'll be good to go. And yeah, we're actually getting really good gas mileage in this thing, so and it's got a big tank in it too. I think the other one's only 50, this is an extra 30 gallons. Um, so you can do the math and figure out that it's like 20% more. I don't, I don't know, I'm kidding. Uh, it would actually be 40% more, I think. It wasn't always the best at doing math off the top of my head. Um, so 10% of 50 is 5, obviously. Um, it's 30 gallons more than 50. So 20% would be 10 gallons, 40% would be 20 gallons. Is it really that much? Is it like 50 or 40% more? Anyways, I don't know. I'm not going to bother to do the math. You guys can if you want. If it really uh, interests you. Interests? Interests? Yeah, if you want to do it, go for it. I don't, you know, I'm pretty easy. And... I actually think this is the first time in a very long time it started raining. I never really noticed that, but uh, it is. It is indeed, so look at that. Alright, so so far so good. I think this trail is going to be... should be pretty straightforward. There, there's some sticky spots that we might have to kind of winch ourselves through, but... I think as long as we stay in a nice low gear, we could probably easily make it up this hill. Let's try to go with a little bit more speed. It's not too bad. It's struggling a little bit, but I think we, yeah, we did good there. So just trying to get it to switch gears again. Uh, so what I'm doing to do that is just hitting L1, which is the basically the clutch. Um, and I could have done it there and kept up my momentum, but I was too busy talking about it to realize that my RPMs were slowing down. Now, a cool uh, way to kind of know if your RPMs are slowing down besides listening. And we got to go this way. I don't want to miss that spot. Um, but a cool way to know that if your RPMs are slowing down is to actually look at them. Uh, you can see them right there on the left hand side. Those are, that is a working gauge, uh, which is a nice little feature of this game. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry. Uh, it's hands in the way. Yep, I lied. Sorry, that was the speedometer. <laughs> the gauge you want to pay attention to is the one on the very right. So it's the one right next to where the radio would have been. Uh, but you can kind of keep an eye on that. This truck isn't the best. Um, just because of where his hand location is. Uh, but for the most part, you, if that starts to drop, then you know that you need to downshift. Uh, just like in real life, so it's it's a cool little feature that the RPM gauges actually work. Uh, it would it would also be kind of cool if you could have a uh, gauge here that told you your RPMs. Just I don't know, maybe in the bottom left corner, you can kind of keep an eye out on said RPMs and see if um, see if your truck needs to shift or not. Uh, so there I actually shifted out so you can go both ways um, So if your RPMs are a little high Here it went in the third gear Which I almost wanted to shift down, but it seems to be doing okay I'm gonna shift down before it decides to just clunk out on me and stop completely Kind of like it did there, but it was already in first gear, so I don't know why I'm not really sure why that did that um, And then we need to go this way is it that trail or is it that trail? Yeah, see, I th there's no trail there. It looks like there should be a trail. 
But it's definitely coming through this way. So this is probably the worst of it. We can actually just get rid of this tree. Eh, you know what? Ooh. That was weird. My front wheels don't want to drive in low gear. Gotta get those wheels to spin. Get going up there. Come on. There we go. Oh, we can go ahead and get rid of that winch. <clears throat> yeah, there's our nice, nice clean trailer. <laughs> now the good thing is, is if we did need gas, I believe it's kind of dumb of me to stop right there in this going up, but we do have 80, or no, we have uh, 529. So you can use, I believe it's up to 90%. Oops. Let's actually pay attention to this trail because it gets a little narrow. Uh, but you can use up to 90% of the trailer, and it still count towards the mission. Uh, so the biggest thing, uh, especially with this maintenance trailer, is the gas. Uh, also spare tires, uh, those are good to have because... You don't really get a warning when it comes to losing tires. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you'll get a notification saying that the tire was damaged but it will still be inflated, and other times it will just instantly deflate. So, um, yeah, it's it's one of those things where you kind of just have to... It's good to have a spare tire. It really, truly is. Because uh, it is a nightmare trying to drive. And I actually had... I kind of did it on purpose uh, a while ago when this game first came out, but... I had all eight tires popped on the truck, and it was uh, it was interesting to try to drive the thing. So, um, but for the most part, you can only have one or two tires at the most, unless you have some type of trailer or the add-on for the back of the the truck. So, um, and as we come down the hill. I really want to take this slow because if I roll it here, it will be all for nothing. Um, I'm actually going to do a little trick of attaching the winch there and taking... Okay, it didn't attach, which is annoying. There we go. If I attach the winch here and then turn... It will actually pull the truck in so that I don't flip it. Um, unlike the trailer, which I... Oh, I almost lost the trailer. Oh, that was close. I, I'm okay flipping the trailer over, like I said. I would have actually probably, uh, if the trailer rolled over completely, I would have came and, and dropped off this cargo because there's no way to get it there uh, without getting a crane back on so let's unload those and then we can what Is it saying that it's not here Um, okay, this is, this is, I think it's technically a bug. Back the trailer out. Do we have to back the trailer out completely or does it, is it the entire truck? Yes, it's the entire truck. So, back the entire truck out. Um, this can happen if you do multiple loads at once. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and back the trailer out completely, and it's a good thing. 
that we are. Um, I feel like it should have popped up by now. Did I not go out far enough? Is this not where it's saying to drop it off? It is. This is the logistics base. It is a maintenance trailer. Alright, let's try to, um... We're going to try to back it out completely again. Uh, this may be a glitch beyond uh, the normal glitch because essentially what happens is it wants you to leave the zone completely and I assume that that would have been far enough. Um, Let me see if I can... So that we've done. Right? And now I have to get this in, so... Unless... Oh, don't tell me it wants that specific maintenance trailer. Oh, I think it does, guys. Oh, it's not going to accept this maintenance trailer. I didn't even think about that. Oh my. Mm -hmm. mm, that was a mistake. Alright, well, you guys just witnessed a huge mistake. Not huge, but $7,500 huge, I guess. Alright, we're gonna have to haul this out. It's alright, I have fuel. I didn't even notice that. I thought... Let me go into the global... Oops. Let me go into the global map and look back at... Yeah, look at the... the hmm... The good old magnifying glass. That's the maintenance trailer it wants and that's the maintenance trailer it will only accept. So... Alright, well, you know what we're gonna do? We are going to leave this truck here. It's going to be attached to the maintenance trailer, which just kind of almost sort of kind of rolled over. And we're going to just leave this and the truck here for now. I will do this off camera and haul this truck back, hopefully. And I'm so annoyed right now with myself. How did I do that? Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and turn this off. We are going to jump into this. We're going to recover it. Although, wait a minute. Is it faster just to drive through? I bet you it's faster just to drive through. Um, because the garage is way on the other side. And this truck should be fairly quick. So, I tried to kill... I tried killing two birds with one stone, but I goofed. So the second part of this episode is going to be basically fixing my mistake. Which, you know what? It's not a mistake until you refuse to fix it, and then it becomes a mistake. A wise person told me that once. I think it was on one of those inspirational posters in a high school counseling uh, office. And yeah, so there was my warning about my tire blowing. And you can actually see it, which is pretty cool. Can I zoom in? There we go. So see the little scratch marks, I guess, on the tread? That's actually damage. Uh, that is being shown. So that's pretty cool. At least I think it is. 
I I don't recall seeing those before. Um, uh, before I damage a tire. Oh, let's turn that off. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that is a, a damaged tire, so... I don't think it will affect us too much, but if we damage it again, we are... in for a world of hurt unless we have... Uh, that maintenance trailer attached to us. If we have that, then everything's gravy and we're good, unless we can pass a trailer store and pick up a spare tire or two. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have them unlocked, so I can't get them uh, where they're attached on this truck. Um, yeah, but you know what? It's been a while since we've been out here. And... Uh... Probably should have went left back here and came around that way, but I'm going to come down to here and then hang right. Oh, I put my brake on? That's weird. <clears throat> I think that should be adequate. Lo and behold, there's another trailer. That's just kind of sitting around. Ooh, that was a good pop on the front tire now. And these, uh... This mud is considerably easier than the stuff in, in uh, Smith uh, Bill Dam. It does take a little bit to get through it, though. So we will have to haul this all the way back through, so let's start winching when we can, just to help speed up this process. Nope. Nope. Can we go into third gear? Nope. Second gear is as best that we can do. Um, now... wait until we get through the muck a little bit more. Uh, that's a good spot. Uh, so we are there, we have to go to here. We've got... eighth of a mile? A little bit more? Let's see if we can go a little bit faster by actually getting off the, the trail. How are there no... I was like, how are there no points? Come on. I need to just reach... I need to just reach over with the mouse and grab them when there's not no points. It's a little insane. Try to sit there and, and inch your way through. Alright, let's try it again. Um, that one looks fun. <clears throat> Turn the wheels and try to get up on this grass. Get out of this mud and water. There we go. Now it looks like we can actually move. Yay! In, try to stay out of the deep stuff. We're gonna jump across. We're gonna weave. We're gonna run over a pine tree. Not on purpose. It was on accident. I promise. And we can cut through here. Avoid this mud. And now we get to drive through the deep stuff. At least I think. I remember this being deep. Oh, it's not too bad. It's actually pretty nice. And 
And just like that, we are relatively close to the uh, building platform that's right there. <clears throat> this is actually a pretty decent road. Alright, so now that we got this maintenance trailer, the correct one, I will have to remember that from here on out. Uh, I was wondering how I was going to get reimbursed for uh, that trailer. And I should have known. I should have known. Alright, so we're going to... Uh, let's see. I can get that closer. Perfect. Match. Look at that. And now we're gonna try and haul this across. Good thing is, is we got a bunch of gas and we got a bunch of spare parts to uh, fix things with if things shall go awry. Hopefully we can get there pretty quick. Might be running this episode a little bit longer just to um, get this mission done with because I am uh, annoyed with myself for not knowing, not realizing that that was the case. It's, it's the little things that you forget <laughs> when you don't play a game or do something for a while. And I've been playing this game for quite a bit. If there's a lot of hours that I've logged in this game already. And I feel like I'm just learning things. It still feels pretty new and fresh. So that's a good thing though. It's not like the um I'm gonna I'm gonna throw them under the bus, but it's not like the newest need for speed that was stale after the uh I don't know, tenth race or so. Just the same thing over and over and over again. Oh, let's avoid that uh, stump. And there we go with the glitching again. It's kind of annoying. Uh, so is this mud. We almost made it through. Come on. You can do it. You can do it! Traction! I have power, I just need traction! So maybe, uh, Jeremy Clarkston was wrong. You don't need more power, you just need traction. Speed is what you need, and to get speed, you need traction! Because, yeah, you really can't do anything without um, traction in this game. Uh, where are we? Are we even close to getting back to the main trail? I want to get back to Smithville Dam as soon as possible. Nope, wrong tree. Wrong tree. Eh, close enough. Still technically a wrong tree. There we go. That's what I wanted, because we are going to be fighting this mud. It's funny though, you cannot burn out your um, winch. You can just you can max it out, but you can't actually break it. Uh, which I feel it's a missed opportunity in the game. Like you're, if you're wrenching, wrenching, if you're wrenching on it pretty hard for a long period of time, you can easily overheat a wench. Winch. God, like why do I have the problem say I only have that problem saying it when I'm in this game playing. Um, but yeah, you can overheat your winch, so um, I feel like they could have added that feature to the game. And you either have to just wait till it cooled down and then continued or there's not really power-ups in the game that will cool it down right away. I'm just thinking of other games that I've played where things would overheat. 
aka Excite Bike for the Nintendo uh, original. <laughs> I almost said 64, but that wasn't even close. Um, but yeah, like I, I love that game. I played that game so much in the 80s. And I look back at it and I'm like, it was so simple. Like, I don't even think you could beat it. Um, yeah, I gotta go right. I don't know why I was thinking left. Um, I don't even think you could technically beat it. Like, there was... There was the trial A and trial B, and then there was just a custom. And I think... I think the custom was what I always played. I just would sit there and build my own courses, do my own jumps and that type of thing, and... It never saved your score. It said it would save your score. It never saved it. I don't know if that was a glitch or something back then, or just poor programming. But it would never save a uh, your your track speed or your track. Uh, but it would never save your your settings or your speed. So it was one of those things. I don't know. That's it's the Nintendo. It was the '80s. I was like, I don't know, eight. Didn't really matter too much to me. I still enjoyed playing the game. All right, so we are coming up to Smithville Dam. So it's getting pretty close. And that really doesn't matter too much. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make it nice and bright and start off in the morning. We're going to pretend that it took all night to get through the bridge or the tunnel. And we have 17 gallons of gas. I think I might, um, I think I might opt to just refill from this tanker. I could stop at the trailer store and use that, but it's, you know what, it's, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use 90% of this. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I take all the gas, but I think there's 500 gallons in this thing, so uh, we're definitely not going to be coming close to that anytime soon, especially on this mission. That's pretty close to that pole. <laughs> All right, so now that we climbed up that hill, we get to uh, drive down this side. Do -do -do -do. Oh, get a little sideways. It's getting a little gnarly through here. And NFG, if you guys know what that means. <laughs> Fortunately, I can't say it all out loud. Um, but yeah, if you know it, you know, you know it, you know it. So, um, and yeah, we're gonna see if 14 gallons of fuel will get us through this fog. I'm so like, every time I hit that bump, it's wants to flip the truck over <laughs> and for some reason it never does I'm kind of glad it doesn't let's see you know I wouldn't be surprised if this Russian truck has all its um, differentials welded together I guess it's, oh yeah, I guess it's the knuckles of the differentials that would be welded together. Oh, that hurt. Wow. I think you can actually see. Uh, oh, the tire's still okay. That's good. Oh, nice and sloppy through here. Just the way I like it. It's even starting to... Yeah, yeah. I think it's the water that's kind of glitching there. 
But we don't need any cargo, so that's that's good. Let's get through here. We're gonna probably get to that fork. Uh, just after the not lumber mill, but at the the lumber site, whatever that's called. Definitely not going that way. Um, let's see if we can get up this hill and then refuel. Be okay. And fourth gear. We are on fumes at this point. Let's see. Alright, we're almost there. I want to see if I can actually get there. I think I can. We have to turn this way. This should I'm fairly solid. Nice little sinkhole there. Another one. And so we got past the fork that I thought we were gonna end up getting stuck on. <clears throat> now there's no way we're making it to the actual uh, logistics base, but we're gonna see how close we can get. And you know what? Right there's probably good. Um. Oh, that was weird. It wasn't letting me put fuel in. I was only gonna do maybe a half a tank. Um, but you know what? It doesn't matter. They'll still accept the tanker. Or the, uh, the maintenance trailer. It's not really a tanker. But it does have fuel in it, so it could be. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Let's try to go a little left. Stay out of the mud again. Leave. Yeah, we gotta go up this way. <clears throat> we just came through here. So I'm sure this tree doesn't want to get off of the truck. There we go. Although we did come through here with a different truck. So that might um, change change things a bit. Are still moving and in this game that's a good thing all right I think we're coming up to about an hour of recording give or take go ahead and shift it in the third because you could hear the RPMs were running pretty high but it didn't want to shift down so this is where we really have to be uh, we don't have to be overly careful because we do have another truck here that we could uh, kind of come rescue the uh, the service trailer with. So I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to end up using this truck to pull that service trailer out. Uh, because I think this truck is just a little bit better than the, uh, the Western Star is. It's going to be close once I get the differential for that truck. Maybe the, the same type of tires. The same mud tires, because I think those are all just all-terrain tires. <clears throat> but then again, if I get the flotation tires for this truck, that will probably change things too. So... Uh, just 
just a nice slow drive today. Alright, so there, we finally, as the rain starts to come, we're finally going to be completing winter stores. And that is complete. 420 experience and five thousand dollars. So that was uh that was pretty good. Unfortunately. Warehouse is now available. We're spare what? Oh, is this a warehouse? Let's accept that. It is a warehouse. Drilling spare parts. Look at that. So that is actually good for probably a different mission. Um, so that's now unlocked. Curtain side trailer. I think isn't there a curtain side trailer right there? I could be wrong. So concrete blocks, concrete or metal beans. Um, which are Technically nowhere on this map. Um, there's some there. But again, I think that might just be the concrete blocks. No, that's a curtain side trailer. So that's the one I want to take. So yeah, the curtain side trailer is not far. And I think the rest of them are in Smithville Dam. Metal beans, I thought, were here. Hmm. Anyways, we will look into that later. Um, let's go to cargo management. Yeah, this is just drilling spare parts, so... Not too worried about that. Um, let's see here. We are still level 10. We are quite a ways away from leveling up. Not surprising. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that episode, and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.